<laughs> you have to say hi. It's your Facebook page. <laughs> hi, Facebook. This is Kimberly and Connor Tracy over here with Big Red SEO. We are ending our week, so we thought that we would do a fun little video. <laughs> and he's kind of super grouchy <laughs> because we had a laughing fit of we were trying to get closer and the camera kept zooming. So we're hope that everybody can see us and we're live. So the purpose of this video is we actually wanted to do just a quickly recap yeah. to like talk about business or just talk about life in general or whatever comes up. So, Connor, <laughs> I was I see like here honestly I said have a handful of questions so I know what the fuck it is you're gonna say and nothing so I'm oblivious to everything and I apologize. Is this where you plead the fifth? Are you no, pleading the fifth? No, no you're just, not part of any of it. I'm just not fucking responsible for what it is I say. So, Still so the whole purpose of us doing this video is a lot of you guys know we're a husband and wife team and we run a business together and life moves pretty quickly and pretty fast. So, um, we wanted to chit chat and let you know a couple things that we learned this week as well as what we had questions coming from, um, regarding business. We do a lot of calls with different prospects and different information and like today we had a couple um, different conversations of what should be inside of a website what should not be inside of a website you guys know that we specialize in SEO as well as web design so um, number one thing that you believe should be included on a website go <laughs> the number one thing that everyone seems to forget is a phone number All right, it's it's a simple thing to overlook when you're, you're redesigning a website a lot of people kind of forget about that but uh, just put the number there. If you want to answer the phone, you want to actually talk to somebody, put the phone number. If you don't want to talk to people, no problem. Put it on the contact form and, and leave it over there. But that's probably the biggie. Yeah. That's the one that frustrated me most this week. Yeah, I would say like a lot of times what happens is people will put like a contact form inside their website and they think that that's kosher and that's good. Um, but a lot of times when we ask them, hey, what are you, what's your goal and what are you trying to do within the website? It's usually they want phone calls. They want the phone to be ringing. So if you don't put your phone number on the website, how is your phone going to ring? Like it's not going to, people are not going to know how to contact you. Um, I would say the phone number is a very basic thing that a lot of people miss, whether it's website designers in general or marketing individuals. But definitely small businesses as well. I would agree mm -hmm. with that. Um, another thing that we noticed a uh, trend with this week specifically on social media was there's a lot of people that are taking stock photos that have the watermark still on the photo. So what that means is that you actually, whoever's using it didn't pay for the photo specifically. Um, and you can get in a lot of trouble from business just in general with that. Do you want to talk about a couple things that can happen? Well, it, yeah, and not just even from. Uh, the, the stock photo end of things. So there are websites out there that you can use for royalty-free photos and you pay a subscription, you download images and so forth. But a lot of people just go to Google Images and the, the tab on, on Google and just take images off of somebody else's website. Sometimes they crop out the, uh, the logos or watermarks in the corners, but most times they just throw it in there and say it's good enough. I found it on Google, therefore it's okay. Um, it's not. You know, I've got a lot of friends, half the people watch this video are photographers. And if you steal their work, they will be more than happy to go and sue you. Uh, so A lot of them have good work. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, give the credit where credit is due. If you're going to use somebody else's professional photo, you have to give credit. You have to have permission. You have to have purchased it or, or so forth. Um, if you don't, you will get DMCA, uh, Digital Millennium Copyright Act. It's a... A thing on the web but basically uh, they can get the images removed they can get your website shut down you can get removed from Google so uh, follow the rules don't steal other people's content or, or their images in particular uh, content is a totally different discussion mm -hmm. which don't steal that either yeah. but uh, images in particular this week has been a, a big deal for and us and I would say the place where people think that they can get away with it and be pretty naughty that I'm seeing from a business standpoint is business Facebook pages and something I don't think businesses think about, uh, social media in general is a great platform to kind of increase, hey Casey, how are you? Um, it's a great platform to increase like exposure and engagement and so forth, but you just gotta realize that the social media companies in general really own your account. So like if you decide to do stock photos that have the watermarks, which is known for you not purchasing them, I cannot stress enough 
how important it is for you to not do that. Your Facebook business page can actually get completely shut down. So that means you lose all your fans. That means you lose um, all of your business contacts and so forth. And I, we try not to go into the scary world, but we just want to be able to educate people of just stop doing it. Don't do it. If you didn't purchase the actual image to be able to utilize for digital use, just skip it and don't do it. Now that's different than like if you have an image you're wanting to share that's a quote from somebody and you leave their name on the quote, like that's totally legit. You're giving credit where credit is due for an image that was created. We're really talking about the images that have the line X's through them that usually it has a logo of the company that's selling it. Like just don't, <laughs> just and, don't use that. And even going on that point um, with regards to images, uh, GIFs or, or motion videos and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of businesses will think it's okay just, you know, oh, I'm only using three seconds or I'm only using seven seconds of their video. Um, those can get you in hot water. I, I've seen a number of businesses using just an animated clip of a Disney character mm -hmm. and Disney likes to go after whether you're a small <laughs> business or a big business, Disney will get you. Um, but uh, it, we've seen that, you know, one of the, the things that I'm following online right now, there's a, a videographer that I follow, and uh, somebody had used about two minutes of his gameplay. Uh, so he was doing a, a gameplay tutorial online on how to record videos and so forth. And uh, Hey, David, thanks for joining. Basically, with that, uh, I, I'm completely lost now. No, I, the I gaming, the video, the clip, the snippet? Yeah, if you take somebody else's video, you have to give credit, and if you don't, uh, you know, fuck you. So uh, that's it. That's the truth, Connor, coming out. It, like he removed all PR, all political, yeah. all that information. Yeah, screw it. Yeah, so um, just in general, like we always talk about with business, just be smart about what you're utilizing and how you're utilizing it. Um, and just make sure that whatever images that you do decide to utilize, make sure they represent your company. Um, something that we see a lot, especially in our industry, is a lot of people just do stock photos. And stock photos can get you so far, but just remember people want to do business with other people, if that makes sense, so other humans, and they want to be able to see the personality and kind of like what are they going to get, what kind of personality are they going to get type of scenario um, you actually found conflicting information this week uh, Connor does a lot of different digging and researching so I don't know if you guys know that or not um, but do you want to share like one of the tips that they said about like websites are supposed to have certain emotions versus other emotions it was something I, I honestly I can't remember it I remember so uh, we yeah talked about yeah it, so what happened is he told me he was like hey I'm listening to this podcast or this webinar or whatever and they said uh, website or images should not show frustration oh, and instead the images should be happy-go-lucky like cheerful and I was like well wait a minute like I don't know if I agree with that because our clients a lot of them are frustrated and I would think if they wanted to be happy-go-lucky all the time, why would they hire us? Like they're clearly frustrated and we wanted to like blend and make sure that we understood where they were coming from. So we do research and we get two totally different like belief systems and what the deal is. But I guess, I mean, it depends on the business, I guess. Yeah, uh, the whole thing behind it, you know, one of the things we have on our website, website audits or going through reports and it was a, a frustrated guy basically dealing with reports just like, normal people deal with. When I look at a report, I get frustrated. Um, but the whole sentiment behind it was that uh, you didn't want pictures of people that are upset or people that are unhappy, that everybody should be smiling. And, you know, it's just, that's not the way it is. And, and maybe, you know, in the grand scheme of things, maybe uh, it affects click-through ratio or conversions and stuff like that. But I honestly haven't seen it and I've been too busy this week. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to pin them into the comment section. And if there's something specifically you want us to come back and talk with, what we're looking to do is this um, recap like uh, on Fridays. We don't know the specific time or whatnot, um, but it's kind of more of just giving you guys a snap into the journey of husband and wife team. We work together a lot. Mm -hmm. We had a situation earlier this week where I knew what color ink cartridge was in the back cabinet and Connor thought he also knew what color was in the back cabinet and I, I won swear. that bet and it was amazing and I got an awesome reward his reward was x-rated so I'm not gonna say what it was <laughs> online um, but I won and I was super excited and then we did another bet today and I got a little over uh, what do you call it cocky is what he calls it cocky confident I was a uh, overconfident and so I lost my bet because <laughs> 
<laughs> I decided to double down because I was so confident in the answer. Um, but we are husband and wife team. So we joke around a lot. We play, we have fun, and then we get serious and down to business as well. So we're wanting to give you guys a capture of kind of like how the internal everything works. And then if you have any questions that we're able to just um, answer off the fly, we're happy to try and do so. So, uh, and the, the short version of how it all works is that Kim talks a lot. I do talk And a lot. I just... And I smile a lot, and he's like grumpy. Yeah. Mm. It smile. It's not that it's overrated. It just it doesn't need to be done all the time. And but our but the cool thing about it is our favorite word. Both of us starts with an F and ends in a K. So that's kind of cool. Fuck. We have we have that. <laughs> yeah, you can say it. I didn't feel comfortable saying it online, but that's fine. That's yeah, fine. Whatever. Well, we wish all of you guys a great weekend here in Nebraska. It is sunny so far. I think it's supposed to stay pretty nice all the way through the weekend. Um, but feel free this to have... This is fucking 11 video. 11 I know. Fucking minutes. I told him it goes really fast. Um, but thank you so much for joining. And if three you minutes. have any questions... Three minutes is the optimal time. <laughs> get in, get out, get done. A couple of bullet points. We don't need to know about your things. <laughs> we don't need to know about your things. We will talk to you guys soon. Have a great Friday. Bye-bye. See ya.